Verse number one. Unto thee, O oh, oh God, do we give thanks. Yeah. Uh, unto thee, do we give thanks. So he repeats himself twice. Yeah. He says, unto thee. Now, thee is a singular uh, pronoun. It is a singular pronoun. It's, it, it, it refers to one person. It, so, so it is going back. The thee then points back to only one person. So who is the one person that's in view? In verse number one, unto thee, uh, one person, O oh, God. So our thanks then goes singularly to God. So, and, and by the way, it's important to know that thee is a singular pronoun and you, whether we realize it or not, is a plural pronoun. And so when the King James Bible makes a distinction between thee and you, we should pay attention knowing that uh, there is a specific reason why it is doing that. Okay? All right. So, so if we take the Lord's Prayer, for example, and say uh, in, 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 in the way that, that we know it and understand it, and the way the Bible portrays it for us, it says, unto uh, thine is the kingdom. Thine is a singular, pro, is a singular pronoun. Uh, so it means that the kingdom belongs to God alone. God is in charge of the kingdom. God has set up the kingdom, and the kingdom right. is God's. He's the ruler of everything. Okay? Yeah. Thine, the singular pronouns. What's my point? So if I take the Lord's Prayer and I remove the word thine and I put in to yours is the kingdom then yours I mean technically in the English language and I think there's a reason why the translators do what they do uh, technically in the English language your is a plural pronoun so then it almost indicates that the kingdom belongs to multiple gods but the truth is the kingdom does not belong to multiple gods the kingdom belongs to the one true and living God unto that thine is the kingdom and the glory of forever that was a long pause to throw in there my plug for the use of thee thou and your thine and so forth. I think there's meaning there. I think people don't realize there's meaning there, but there is meaning there, uh, and thus I think we ought to stick with what we got. Amen. That's just my plug for tonight. Unto thee, uh, O God, so it's a singular pronoun, unto thee, O God, uh, do we give thanks. So first, I want to talk tonight about the subject of a Christian Thanksgiving. Uh, and what is a Christian Thanksgiving? What does a Christian Thanksgiving look like? Well, for, first of all, I would tell you that there is a difference. We are heading into Thanksgiving tomorrow, right? There is a difference between a Christian Thanksgiving Thanksgiving uh, and, and, and Thanksgiving in general. Uh, for example, in the state of Pennsylvania tonight, uh, the governor, who is a, 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 as far as I can tell, kind of a dictator, uh, he tells the people of Pennsylvania that they are not allowed to buy alcohol in this in that state uh, in, 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 for the celebration of Thanksgiving. Right. Well, first of all, I'm kind of, that's about the only thing he did that I like. Right. Uh, I think we ought to just quit buying alcohol, period, really. Yeah. really. Uh, but, but my point is, it's, it, my, I guess my point in saying that is that, that, that first of all it's not his job to dictate morality. It's not his job to tell me what my decisions are going to be. No, right. Government is not designed at least in this country uh, to dictate to the people. Government is designed to represent the people and to protect our liberty and our rights. Yeah, that's right, buddy. If I don't, don't want to buy alcohol then I'm not going to buy it but, but really it's not the governor's job to tell me what I should and should not do. But what, what I am saying about all that is this. Multi, people are in uproar because they can't buy liquor tonight in that state. But the truth is that kind of tells me that they were heading into a non-Christian Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah, for sure. Right? You, 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 I mean, if you're really heading into a Christian Thanksgiving, the idea of a Christian Thanksgiving is not to get drunk and watch football. The idea of a Christian Thanksgiving is unto thee, O oh God, do we give thanks. Now, tomorrow I am going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah. But I'm not going to celebrate an Americanized Thanksgiving. I'm not going to celebrate a, 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 a paganized Thanksgiving. I'm not going to celebrate a, a, a sweet potato pie and, and beer and liquor and football Thanksgiving. I'm going to celebrate a God who deserves my thanks every day of the week. Amen. Amen. Uh, and is worthy. So uh, tomorrow I'm heading into a Christian Thanksgiving. Amen. Uh, that's an important distinction. Well, what does a Christian Thanksgiving look like? Well, first of all, I think he says, verse number one, unto thee, O God. So, uh, so, so a Christian Thanksgiving then must offer thanks to God. That's right. To God. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that gather around uh, their families tomorrow. Uh, and actually, there's going to be, if they, if they weren't afraid of getting caught, there'd be a lot of governors that are going to do it even though they told you not to. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's true. Right. They don't like getting caught, but they, they do get caught when they do it. Right. 
In other words, the mindset of a lot of politicians is it's good for uh, thee, but not for me. I do what I want, but you little peasants, you do what I tell you. Well, I'm not interested in being a peasant. No. no. Amen. I'm not. So unto thee, amen. One of these days I'm going to quit talking about politics. <laughs> unto, unto thee, O oh God, and do we give thanks. I think we're going to find out, well, never mind. Unto thee, O oh God, do we give thanks. So a Christian thanksgiving gives thanks to God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Unto thee, O oh God, do we give thanks. So I'm not giving thanks to myself for being so smart that, that I have a job and then the job allows me to buy food. No, no, no. If I have a job, it's because God provided it. So tomorrow, there better be some thanksgiving, not back to me as the provider as the one that provides the job, but there better be some thanksgiving back to God as the one who provides the job. You might as well say amen. amen. We, we, uh, Christian thanksgiving offers thanks to God. Yeah. It does not offer thanks to Buddha. No. Uh, I believe the the, the, the gentleman that they uh, 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 believe will occupy the White House in January, that, that's what the news media is telling us anyway, uh, he said, quote, he's going to fill the White House with Muslims. Uh, that's what he said. Look it up. It's out there. It's, on, it's out there. I'm going to fill the White House with Muslims, Mr. Biden said. Uh, but the truth is this. We don't. Tomorrow. We're not celebrating a Muslim Thanksgiving. At least I'm not. I'm celebrating. I'm not celebrating. I'm not offering thanks to Buddha, even though the, the, there are certain politicians that want me to do so. I'm not offering thanks to Allah. Uh -huh. I'm not offering thanks to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even though uh, the, the Catholic Church would probably want me to. Right. I'm not offering thanks to my preacher. Right. I'm not offering, hey amen, I'm not offering thanks to, 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 to uh, good vibes. No. There's a lot of people in America uh, that good vibes, the idea of good vibes and positive energy and these sorts of things, that has replaced God for them. Right. It's just throw me some good vibes. Uh, I don't throw good vibes. I throw Bible vibes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only vibes I know is a Bible vibe because I'm a Bible believer and a Bible Christian and I'm going to have a Bible thing given tomorrow. How about you? That's why right, I don't do it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so what does a Christian Thanksgiving look like? It looks like people giving thanks back to God. Amen. He said in verse number one, unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Amen. So if we're sitting around the table tomorrow, you don't need to thank me. You, even if, if, I, if, if I prepared the food, you can acknowledge it, which I won't, but uh, you, you could acknowledge my hard work, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, if I bought the food, you could, you know, went to the store and purchased it, you could acknowledge, I guess, uh, my contribution to that area. But know this, anything we have good in life came from the one yeah, true right. and living God. And he's the only one you ought to bow your head to and give thanks to. What do you think? Amen. 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 Give thanks unto God. He says, unto thee, O God, do we give thanks? Unto thee, do we give thanks? He, he, quote, he, he repeats himself twice. Anytime a concept in the Bible is repeated, it's probably something we want to take a good look at. Why does he say unto the singular pronoun, unto the? Well, because I'm not offering, if I'm, if I'm having a Christian Thanksgiving, I'm not offering a Thanksgiving to positive energy. No. I'm offering Thanksgiving to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen to God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen to God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Amen to God. Praise yeah. the Lord. Our thanksgiving then must be directed back to God. Amen. 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 Now, now it's not a bad thing, I don't think, to be thankful uh, to the people around you for the contributions that they bring into your life. But we're talking about looking at the fact that God is the one that even provides the people who provides the con yeah. contribution. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for God, we'd all be in a mess. So tomorrow, I would encourage everybody in America not to buy beer, not because the governor said so, but just because you don't need it. Right. Right. And there's something wrong when you always got to be drunk all the time. Life should be that miserable. Oh, that you got to be drunk all the time. Right. For sure. Right. Amen. Yeah. Uh, so, so don't buy beer. Uh, look up to God in heaven uh, as you're cutting your turkey and, and eating your whatever you're going to eat. Uh, and give thanks to the one true and living God. A Christian Thanksgiving gives thanks to God and his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. What do you right. think? Amen. 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 
All right, so, so continuing on, I guess, with that, with that thought, uh, let's go over to Psalm chapter 50, verse number 14. Psalm chapter 50, verse number 14. I want to show you something else. Psalm chapter 50, verse number 14. And the Bible reads in Psalm chapter 50, verse 14, the scripture says, Un, uh, Offer unto uh, God, amen, offer unto God a thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High. So, so first of all, if we're going to have a Christian thanksgiving, we have to give thanks back to the one true and living God, which is, by the way, the God of Scripture, the God of the Bible. Which, by the way, I do believe that the American Congress in about 1970 is somewhere in there declared the Bible to be the word of God. I mean, they set that as a, as a foundational pillar of this great republic and our founding fathers had acknowledged it way before then. America was not created uh, to be a pagan nation. America was created to be a nation of Bible believers. Amen. Amen. So uh, he says, uh, anyway, I don't know how I got off track there, but I always do so. He says, uh, verse, Psalm chapter 50, verse number 14, he says, offer unto God. Now, why do I bring that up? Because Thanksgiving, if it's going to be uh, really manifested, it has to be offered. Offered. Why do I say that? It's one thing to be thankful in your heart. It's another thing, though, to actually offer that thanksgiving and say so out of your mouth. Right. Amen. It's one thing to be thankful in your heart. Uh, sometimes, I mean, I mean, just think about anything you do for anybody. Now, they, you may do that and they do whatever you do for them, and they may be thankful. But if they don't ever express that thanksgiving, if they don't ever verbalize that of thanksgiving, if they don't ever offer that thanksgiving, you may know that they're thankful. But every time, every once in a while, you want to hear the word thanks. Yeah. Amen. Right. Uh, some, sometimes I, I'll go out of my way, my way to help just about anybody. But if I go out of my way to too much, too often, and I don't ever get the word thanks, uh, right? I mean, just a simple acknowledgement, yeah. then the yeah. truth is the well of my going out of my way is going to dry up a little bit. I just guarantee you. Uh, and I think God is kind of the same way. God, we need, not that God has to have it, not that God will uh, vanish without it, but God deserves it. He deserves it. Deserves the verbalizing of our thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and the Christian thanksgiving ought to be that which is offered. It ought to be that which is spoken. It ought to be that which is verbalized. It doesn't have to be verbalized necessarily in front of me or you or uh, us in front of one another. But every day there should be something that comes from our heart, that's in our heart, that then turns around and says, acknowledges with the mouth between us and God and says, God, thank you. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, for allowing us to go to church tonight. Amen. Thank you, God, for the word of the Lord which causes, which allows us to know more about you. Thank you, God, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, God, for water to drink. Thank you, God, for the good people around us. Thank you for food to eat. I mean, there's just so much to be thankful for. And every once in a while, we ought to verbalize that yes, back to God. Amen. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, God, for all that you do for us. Turn with me, if you will. I don't, Rashad, I don't know if I gave you the scripture or not. Uh, but but maybe 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 I did. I'm not sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so though. Acts chapter 14 verse 17. We probably won't be there very long anyway. Acts chapter 14 verse 17. Amen. Sometimes we just need to actually open up our mouth and express thanksgiving to God. What do you think? Yeah, for sure. So maybe tomorrow before we when we enter into our Christian Thanksgiving uh, before we wake up early and, and put the and boil the eggs and 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 and, and, and yeah. cook the whatever we're gonna cook the chickens and the and, and the green beans. Before we do, do that, that's a, just kind of a joke. By the way. But before we do, although I'm sure some people really like that food, but I'm not probably. Not. Uh, but, but, but but I don't like green beans or chillies. <laughs> you know, but but never, nevertheless, uh, the, the, my take is on it. Before we get up and we start preparing the food, maybe we need to take a, a, a moment to recognize a Christian Thanksgiving and get along with God and say, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for Thanksgiving. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this moment. And thank you for the food. Thank you, God, for all that you do for us. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna have a Christian Thanksgiving, we've got to offer some praise back to God. Right. Acts chapter fourteen, verse seventeen. The Bible reads: Nevertheless, he left not he referring to God. It's a pronoun referring to back to God. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness. Now, I love this verse. This is what this is my favorite Thanksgiving verse. Nevertheless, he left himself not without witness. 
He had a, he is, God has left himself with a witness in the earth. God has witnessed of his goodness in the earth. God has not only witnessed of his goodness in America. God has witnessed of his goodness all across the world. How does he do it? Watch what he says. In that he did good. By the way, God is a doer of good. We are not always doers of good. If you talk to the modern 2020 Christian, they almost portray a picture that a really good person is in really uh, is in trouble with a really bad God. Like God is just mad and mean and angry and just can't wait to throw everybody in hell and punish them daily. And here's me. I'm just good old me. There's nothing wrong with me. In fact, I'm a good person. I'll give you the shirt off my back. I'm so good, I'll brag on my own goodness sake, right? right. And so, so the modern Christianity almost looks at God, the, the God and says, God is bad and good man is in trouble with a bad God. But I kind of think it's the opposite. I kind of think man is bad. Yeah. And, and he may still be he may be in trouble, but he's in trouble with a good God. Yeah. God is good. God does good. God's interested in good. And if God wasn't good, he'd have, got, he'd have killed us a long time ago. God is good. Yeah. And God is merciful. God is kind. Yes to me. Amen. God is merciful to me. Praise the Lord. He's good. Amen. So he left himself with a witness in the earth. He did good. Here's how he does good. Here's at least one of the examples he does good. And gave us rain from heaven. Man, what a wonderful Thanksgiving verse. That when we sit down to eat the corn or the green beans or whatever, we know that it's because God has given rain from heaven, which uh, fell upon the earth, which caused the crops to grow, which gave the farmer a harvest, which put it on our table. And all of that stuff, there's a lot of intermediate people in between, a lot of middlemen. But in the end, it's all God who gave the rain from heaven. Praise the Lord. Y'all remember over the book of first kings when god shut up the heavens for three and a half years yeah. and there was drought god could allow that to happen yeah but if god's allowing the heavens to rain and the food to continue to come man we ought to give god some thanks to him i'm not going to give good vibes thanks if you're at my kitchen table at my dinner table we're going to give god some things yes, amen. Amen. amen amen good so he said, what does God do? How did God give the how did God give a witness of himself? He gives rain from heaven, and watch what he gives, and fruitful season. So fruitful, uh, the rain produces the fruitful seasons of harvesting and growing. And then uh, watch what it happens. It fills our hearts with food and gladness. Man, isn't that wonderful? What a Thanksgiving verse. But, but notice what this verse says. This verse says that God gave the rain, which gave the fruitful seasons, which gave us the food. And when we eat the food, it fills our hearts with goodness and gladness or excuse me with gladness and with with food with food and gladness uh, but guess what we shouldn't do we shouldn't allow the the gladness to remain trapped in the heart we've got to release it we've got to push it out there we've got to when we sit down to eat the corn we've got to say thank you god for the rain Thank you, God, for the farmer. Thank you, God, for the fruitful season. Yeah. Thank you that it's not like uh, ancient Israel in 1 Kings 18 when there's no food and no water. And thank you, God, for your blessings upon us. So there's got to be a verbalizing of our thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Amen. So what is a Christian thanksgiving? First of all, it's a, it's a thanksgiving that points to God, that offers thanks to God. But it's also a thanksgiving that verbalizes that thanksgiving, that acknowledges that, 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 the, the gladness of the heart. Yeah. Amen. Right. It says, God, you are the one who has done so much for right. me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Pastor, go ahead. Uh, you have something? Yes, I, I do. I, I've written in James. And... Uh, and it says that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Amen. And it comes down from the Father of lights, whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Even now, God's, God's the same all the time. And He's provided for us uh, good gifts because He's a good God. Yep. And we're the, like you said, we're the bad man, but God's a good God. Amen. Thank God He's good. Amen. Because His goodness is what gives us mercy and grace and time and long suffering. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, gentleness on and on. Uh, his mercy is what, uh, well, thank God for that mercy. Yeah. Uh, in the 55th chapter of Isaiah, I was talking to Brother Bob tonight. The Bible said, For as rain comes down and snow from heaven yeah. and returns thither, but waters the earth uh, and makes it bring forth uh, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. 
the Bible said that, that it makes the earth do it. Yeah. It makes the earth do it. The next verse said, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, that it shall not return unto me void. Same as that, same as the God made the earth bring forth seed, he makes his word yeah. uh, that it will also bring forth fruit Amen. unto a harvest. And that harvest is the souls of men. Yeah. It accomplished what it set out to do. Amen. I'm glad that we can speak the word and it's not going to come back to God void. Yes. Right. Yeah. Amen. It's going to do what it set out yeah. to do. Yeah. Devil don't yeah. like it. He tries to steal it all the time. Yeah. But I'll tell you what it still does exactly what God wants it to do. Amen. And right. hey, we Amen. thank the Lord for that. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Amen. Beautiful. Anyone else? I was, I was sitting here thinking that you talk about um, giving to people Providing that milk, and yeah. Thank you for God for giving me the help that I could get up yeah. and get that help for my That's true. Yeah. You know, the double standard there, you know, we want people to say thank you to us, but then so, so many times we would get to say thank you. God. Yeah, come on, yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Good thought. Good thought. Yeah. Anyone else? All right, all right. Well, we'll keep on going for a second, but if you have any other thoughts that pop in your mind and heart, let, 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 let me know. Um, so uh, we have to verbalize, we have to say thank you to God. It's important, I think, to actually say it. Um, why, well, let, let's take a look over the book of Hebrews really quickly. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 15. Uh, and we're going to look over at this verse here and see what it says to us. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. And as soon as I find it, we'll read it there. There we go. All right. Hebrews 13 and 15, the Bible reads, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God. So we are we are people who have been redeemed, and as redeemed souls, we are to offer a sacrifice of praise to God. That's part of our job. Our job is to witness of Christ. Our job is to worship God. Our job is to offer a sacrifice of praise to God. It's part of what God has designed for us to do as redeemed humanity, to praise God, to worship Him. And watch what he says, a sacrifice of praise to God continually. Yeah. Uh, that is the fruit of our lips. Yeah. Now, he didn't, he didn't just say the fruit of our heart, because sometimes we, are, we do have some thankfulness in our heart that has been put there because we acknowledge the rain from heaven that gave us the fruitful season, that gave us the, 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 the meal, uh, but we've got we to let it come out of our heart and get it into yeah. our lips so that it becomes an actual verbalized praise to God. Why does that matter? Well, be, well God can see the heart most assuredly, most assuredly, but I think it matters to God because it matters to God. Amen. Yeah. I don't know exactly why he, or why, why it matters to God. Uh, I don't know exactly because he knows what's in my heart. But I do know this. He said that there's got to be a coming out of, of what's in my heart, out of my lips, to turn into a sacrifice of praise, an actual verbal verbalization of what he has done for me in Thanksgiving. He says the fruit of our lips, giving what thanks to uh, his name, his name. Yeah, Give me thanks to his name. So we've got to be now. Now I would say this: you don't have to do that the way that I do that. You may like on a Sunday morning we're having a worship time. You may hear me say thank you, Lord, and you may hear me say it out loud. You may hear me say thank you, Jesus. You may hear me say say hallelujah. And you don't have to do that like I do that, but you do. We all do yeah. have to open up our lips in some form or fashion. We should anyway, and verbalize Thanksgiving back to the Father. Yeah. He's done so much for us. He's filled our hearts. So let yeah. us now look at Him and say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Now it doesn't have to be that you do it like. I do it, but we got to do it somehow. Yeah. We got we to let what's in our heart turn into a verbalized praise yeah. back to God. A Christian Thanksgiving verbalizes Thanksgiving to God. Sister Ann. It's just something. Um, when I'm in a grocery store or something, you know, and I just want to say thank you to God. Um, I just have the deep, a lot of times, just say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Praise you, Lord. Yeah. The looks you get. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Or praise you, Lord. You know, and then I, I want, I mean, the person, I'll give you the most. Yeah, sure. I want to give you my prayers. That's right. Amen. Okay, but you can get some weird looks. Oh, yeah. 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 Also, you can get some, he says, well, amen. You there know? you go. Yeah. You don't get that yeah. as much as you get the old. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 But when you said that, that it's yeah. about that. 
Yeah. It's a wonderful thing. I think it's a good testimony. Yeah. Giving the thanks to God. In fact, if we have time to get there, we will get there. Uh, the, the Bible actually talks about giving thanks to God in the congregation, yeah. which would be right where we're at today, but yeah. also talks about giving thanks to God in the company of the heathen. Yeah. Uh, and, so, and sometimes yeah. the reason why we don't is because we don't like the looks that the heathen yeah. gives us because right. we're too busy yeah. trying to fit in with the, uh, yeah. the yeah. world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. If you become, if you strive too much to be a friend of the world, uh, eventually you'll become an enemy of God. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much what I see Amen. out of everybody who really wants the admiration and praise of the world, yeah. they eventually turn into an enemy of God. Yeah. Uh, Brother Bob. I just kind of goes along with what Sister Ann just said. Not that I miss my job, but sometimes it'll be so noisy in there when you're out in the plant working on a machine. Yep. You can scream at the top of your lungs and nobody will hear you. Yeah. And I would just Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and they don't even worry about it. They yeah. don't around anyway, but if somebody hurt me, oh well. Yep. You know, yep. But yep. It just, it's just it does something to you. It does. It's a verbal idea. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. It does feel good. Verbalize praise to God. Yeah. Yeah. I, I might be guilty about not, in fact, I am guilty, about not doing that nearly enough and about not giving God praise uh, nearly enough, about just taking a lot of what he does for me for granted in a, in a seriously a sad way. And so today is one of those days where we remind ourselves, at least tomorrow, I guess, is one of those days, and uh, as we remind ourselves of our need to give thanksgiving to God, uh, of God's command to give thanksgiving back to God. But 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 it, 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 it's just probably a good thing that the day rolls around once a year because it refreshes the subject before. For us, uh, but man, let, let us try to, to strive to be more thankful every day. What do you think? That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right, uh, let's turn over to the book of. Let me, I gotta see where I want to go next, I guess. Let's gonna de definitely go back towards Psalms, and we're gonna go to Psalms chapter 30, I guess, verse number four. We'll look over there next. Psalms chapter 30, verse number four. And the Bible reads in Psalm 30 and verse 4. It says, Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Amen. Now, I, I want you to notice that. First of all, something, something happens in verse number 4 that causes the psalmist to remember the holiness of God. Now, that's a good thing. There is something that's going to take place all across our nation tomorrow that will cause people, if they have any spiritual ears and eyes at all, to remember the holiness of God, to, uh, to remember the goodness of God, to remember the, the blessings of God. It's called Thanksgiving. Uh, it's a national holiday. By the way, it is a holiday that's under attack. Yeah, It is. You do remember when they wanted to get rid of Christmas and you could, be, be, you could just about barely say Merry Christmas without being politically incorrect? And now they're trying to get rid of Thanksgiving and they're attacking Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, uh, and they, they just read, read yeah, some of the articles posted by, you know, articles and uh, speeches and stuff given by the extreme left-wing elements of our country. They don't like Christmas. They don't like hot Thanksgiving. They don't like the Founding Fathers. They don't like the Constitution, which, by the way, is really, the, in my view, the end game of it all. If we can demonize Christmas and demonize the holidays and if we can demonize uh, Thanksgiving and we can demonize America as being some evil nation, even though, really, it's been America that has that has delivered a lot of other nations out of communism and the, the yeah, terrible yeah, governments. Yeah. It's been America that's been a and I'm not saying we're perfect, but it's been America that has been a, lot, a shining light through the world of liberty and uh, goodness, and, and we've helped a lot of other nations out. And, uh, and, and so if they can demonize America and demonize the founding fathers and demonize Thanksgiving, then guess what they can do? They can eventually demonize the people. If they can demonize the people, the founding fathers, they can eventually demonize the, the, the document they wrote called the Constitution, yeah. Yeah. which right now is the highest law of the land, which preserves our rights to say what we want and go where we want. Yeah. And Amen. The end goal, I think, is to demonize the document that gives you your liberty. Right. So we better be careful there. Yeah. Amen. That's why I say Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And, I, and, it is, and, it, and it's, I still call it the China virus, too, by the way. Amen. Why? Because it came from China. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Merry yeah. Christmas. Amen. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And enjoy your constitutional liberty. Yeah. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I can remember when they tried to stop the Christmas thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah. 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 They failed, of course. Of course, you know, our king is great, so 
Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Do you remember that when the height of all that anti-Christmas stuff, can't say Merry Christmas, there was a particular person who rose in the land who said, it's okay to still say Merry Christmas. That's right. You remember him? <laughs> Amen. I do. Did he write a song? Huh? Did he write a song? Who said that? The, the president, Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump. yeah, right, Trump. Yeah, yeah he, he came, he pretty much, at the time when they were saying it was a, you can't say Merry Christmas, President Trump came along and said, no, you can still say Merry Christmas. It's still America. Merry Christmas, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. amen, it's just true story. These are the facts. Look them up. Yeah. Amen. So anyway, he, he says here, uh, let's, let's continue on before I get too, too, too far going. Uh, decide, uh, <coughs> Psalm 30 verse 4, he says, uh, 30 verse 4 says, Sing unto the Lord, O ye his saints, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Yeah. So there's certain things that happen that cause us to remember the holiness and the goodness of God. Thanksgiving is one of them. Uh, Christmas is another one of them. Uh, Christmas is that, that time of year that reminds us that God was so good that he sent his son into the world. And the son was so good that he put off all the glories of heaven to be born of a virgin and be yeah. born in a man. Uh, yeah. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld yeah. His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And it all happened at Christmas time. At least that's the way the yeah. tradition uh, tells it. Uh, and, and that time of year reminds us of that fact. And when these events happen, when things happen that trigger the remembrance of His holiness, are you okay, yeah. sweetie? All right. If you not know, okay. All right. Uh, when, the, when things happen that remember the that the, the trigger the remembrance of His holiness, then we ought to give thanks back to God. What do you think? Uh, right. So, so that's why I, I kind of still believe in saying Merry Christmas, Hallelujah, because it triggers a, a society to remember that there's a Christ in the in the beginning of that word, uh, and it should trigger us back to our uh, Christian roots. I'm having a Christian. Thanksgiving and a Christian Christmas and a Christian every day of the year. Amen. Amen. I don't care how politically incorrect that becomes. Amen. I am a Christian. Amen. 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 It happened to be one. It Amen. happened to be one. That's right. So there are certain things that happen that that causes us to remember God, and it should then do what? It should trigger Thanksgiving. Sing to the Lord, O ye saints, uh, verse number four, uh, saints of His, and give thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. Now, right. it's not just the old Christmas, Thanksgiving, and all these sorts of holidays that that, that trigger uh, the entire, that trigger our memories of God's goodness. It's there's things that should happen through every day of your life that just trigger the remembrance of who God. Is in your mind, shouldn't it? I mean, you're just walking through your house, and uh, sometimes God will just 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 let His Spirit move upon you in a special way. And when that special way comes, guess what? Then it's not a time just to uh, enjoy it and move on. That's a time to be triggered uh, in your memory of the goodness of God, and then return thanksgiving back to God yeah. because He, by His Spirit, has triggered the memory to remember who God is. Right? Yeah. Amen. You, you, you know, there's times in my days when I'm so busy that I forget all, oh, but, and it's sad, but I, I'm so busy that, 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 that you, you know, I'm not thinking about the Bible. Right. Yeah, wow. there's, some, there's times that when, when work gets so busy, when life gets so busy, when traffic gets so busy that I ain't even, I ain't even thinking about the Bible. I'm thinking about how to get through traffic and not get in a wreck and how to make yeah. sure that guy's going to slow down. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's just your mind just gets caught up in the busyness of life. Uh, but there'll be times when even in the course of all that, God will just move upon you by His Spirit and trigger the memory of who God is to you. And that should not be a time that's just, it's just you know, just kind of ignored and acknowledged and ignored. It should be a time that's acknowledged and then thanksgiving is offered back to God because right. he rem He causes your mind to remember him when you're forgetting all about him. Amen. Amen. So Psalm chapter 30 verse 12. Let's go there uh, and let's see what this verse says. We're looking at some verses on thanksgiving. He says uh, to in verse number 12, uh, to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee. And not be silent. Praise Amen. God. Too many silent Christians in the earth today. 
I've decided, uh, I've decided, and you may want to take note of it because, uh, be, 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 because you may want to delete me on social media, but I've decided that I'm not on social media uh, to, 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 to just look at things. I'm on social media to have a voice. Amen. Amen. To have a voice. Yeah. Uh, right? It's, it's an outlet that God has given me. And I have never been to Facebook jail, but I'm probably heading there pretty soon. <laughs> You, you guys know that you guys know Facebook. If you say something too controversial, people complain and they'll put you in Facebook jail. You right. can't say nothing for thirty days. Right. I've never been there, but I, I want to go there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You know, there's people that are put in Facebook jail because they say the vulgarest, nastiest, filthy stuff, uh, and, and then they get put in Facebook jail because somebody complains and then and, and they say, you know, uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be in Facebook jail because I said something vulgar. I want to be in, if I go to Facebook jail. I want to be there because I said something holy. Right? Too many silent Christians. If God has given you a voice, speak up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Speak up. Say something. Amen. Yeah. Don't be silent. Yeah. Don't be silent. Right. You know, so I decided that I'm, I'm about tired of being silent. I'm tired of being silent about everything. Right. I'm going to speak my mind about everything and see where the chips lay. Amen. Right. Either we're going to start a, a revival or a riot, but we're going to get something going. <laughs> Amen. All right. To the end, that my glory, God is good. Yeah. I'm not celebrating Allah tomorrow. Uh -oh. I'm celebrating Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Merry Christmas, I'm celebrating yeah. Jesus. That's right. right? Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God be the glory. To God be the glory. To the end that my, my, my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. He says, O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Man, isn't that a good verse? I will give thanks unto thee forever. So I think, I think Thanksgiving is one of those things that uh, is triggered in the memory, uh, but it has to be verbalized, and in true Thanksgiving has to go back to God. But it also, as believers, it should be something that we decide never to stop doing. I will give thanks to thee, again, singing the pronoun, forever. So there's no room there in the singular pronoun for me to give thanks to Allah and Mary and this saint and that one and this person and that. No, I, I, or government. I'm not giving thanks to government. I'm giving thanks to God. Amen, God, the Lord yeah, Jesus yeah. Christ. Amen. Yeah. So it's something that I have to decide within myself to make up my mind to never stop, to never relent from, to never back away from, to always be a person of true of thanksgiving. And by the way, this is, in my view, true thanksgiving. Amen. Tomorrow, we're going to have a singular day, which a good portion of the country isn't going to think about God at all. Right. Some of them will, and hopefully many do. Yes. And hopefully when we sit down to eat the bird, uh -huh. right. or the ham, right. or whatever, uh -huh. hopefully we remember God. Amen. Uh, yeah. but, but, but it's going to be a day tomorrow when people, many forget about God at all, uh, don't think about God at all. It's just a, it's a, it's a turkey and beer and football day, uh, but, but turkey, beer, and football has never saved anybody right. and will never save anybody. So let us give thanks to God who yeah. does uh, save. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. And let us decide that tomorrow is a day that we pass through that brings it back to our remembrance that we should give thanks to God. But let us decide the day after. After Thanksgiving, yes. we're still going to be giving Thanksgiving to God. Yes. Yes. Offering it to God. Not to Allah, yes. but to God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. To God. Now, it's funny. It's funny in the American culture because we have Thanksgiving on thir Thursday. Uh -huh. And then we have this holiday, which is pretty much a, sort of a holiday, called Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Right. right? And on Thursday, we all gather to give thanks, hopefully, to God. And then on Friday, we'll nearly beat you to death to get a $69.99 TV from home. <laughs> Something is seriously awry. Yeah. Something, so, somebody <laughs> decided at some point on Thursday to give God some thanks, but didn't make that commitment to do it for ever. Right. Because if I really want to thank God forever, if I'm out at Walmart to get the $69.99 TV, uh, and it's between me and you, and it's a knockdown drag out, I, if I'm really thankful to God forever, I just look at you and say, hey, have the TV, because it ain't worth fighting about. Amen. Right? Amen. We, uh, the day after 
where we celebrate being thankful, we celebrate being the most materialistic, selfish people on the face of the planet who would beat somebody to get a deal on a PlayStation. Right? Amen. 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 This is scary stuff. Yes, sir. We need to be careful. Yeah. So my mindset is I'm going to go into Thanksgiving tomorrow to have a Christian Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then I'm going to go into Friday to have a Friday Christian Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then I'm going to go into Saturday to have a Saturday Thanksgiving. You all understand my point yet? Yeah. we got to give thanks to God, not just on Thursday. we got to give thanks to God forever. Amen. Yeah. Just forever. Yeah. What is true? What is a true Christian Thanksgiving? It's a Thanksgiving to God that was made up in the mind that it will take place forever. Yeah. Forever, yeah. God. He will give you things. Amen. Thank no matter what comes our way. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I think we're about out of time, and I've probably offended half of the country at this point, so it's probably a good time to wrap it up. Amen. I might go to YouTube jail too, praise the Lord. Amen. You know, they, they are taking Christian ministries off YouTube left and right. Right. Uh, and and, and the, the, the difference between uh, whether they take you off or not isn't necessarily what you're saying, because uh, they hate it all. It's how big of a following you have. Right. Uh, if you have a big following and you're making enough splash and enough din, they'll take you down. Right. I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a pastor right now that I've listened to sermons after sermon after sermon, a Baptist pastor, and, now I, and he had thousands of sermons from his church on YouTube. And I go to YouTube now and I can barely find one of them because every time he puts one up, they take it down, discontinue his channel. We are living in a time when free speech is, is severely being limited. Yes. Uh, that's why I thank God for Christmas. I thank God for Thanksgiving. I thank God for the Constitution. Yeah. Amen. 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 I know America's not perfect. But it's still the best country on earth as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And I want to keep it that way. Amen. 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 How are we going to keep it that way? By being thankful to God. Amen. Amen. Amen.